British accent challenge. So I'm gonna be starting with British accent so I can make a difference between the accent that I'm talking with right now, which is American accent, and the British accent. This call may be recorded for quality and training purposes. So this was British accent. I was, uh, as you can see, I was holding my laughter till the whole time, like the whole time, because I wanted to laugh because the, 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 the accent, it was just so funny. And I mean, for a person who talks English, American accent, accent it's, it's pretty weird and hard for me. So yeah, that's all I have to say about it. Now, American accent. This call may be recorded for quality and training purposes. So the English, uh, the American accent was pretty easy because I always talk with it. But the thing is, when I said recorded, I actually felt like I said uh, there is a little bit of British in it since I was practicing British accent a lot. Then uh, I think um, when I said recorded, I didn't say recorded like in like American accent. I said recorded. For some reason, I don't know why. That's all I have to say about it. Now for French accent. This call may be recorded for quality and training purpose. This one was so funny. It's like I'm talking in usual. Like it's kind of weird since in American accent and like every English accent we like say R. In some we like pronounce R and like. In French accent, it pronounced it. Pro it was pronounced R, which um, was pretty weird for me. And uh, yeah, that was pretty. Annoying. And last but not least, we're gonna be doing Arabic accent. This call may be recorded for quality and training purposes. As you can see, in Arabic accent, um, we don't really use a nasal voice. So we give every letter its real sound. So this was the challenge and um, at the end I want to thank my teacher Selma for giving me the opportunity to do this challenge and I also want to thank equally my school Rojvani. So thank you all for watching and thank you.